Hi, this is Shade Foray with TaxSellSupport.com. I'm here with Steven Swenson again, and this is another one of our Property Deals of the Week video uh, for February uh, of 2021. Yeah, and kind of keeping up with the theme, we're going to be talking about California again. Yeah, in fact, this is actually a, a sale that, we, uh, that we've we talked about. But before we do that, California, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, they are a tax deed state. Basically, the way state law works there, um, counties there start a five-year redemption period when properties are delinquent. So delinquent owners have five years, but at the end of that, uh, the county will foreclose on the properties and offer them up at an auction. Yeah, so the county does the actual foreclosure and then sells the property at a, at a tax auction, starting at the delinquent taxes and any fees. Now, California will hold uh, both live in-person auctions with, and also online auctions, but this year they pretty much hold mostly online auctions. Yeah. In fact, the, uh, the sale that we're going to be talking about here is actually the San Diego County tax sale, um, which this is a sale that is scheduled to take place uh, on March uh, 12th through the 17th. Um, and uh, it's an online auction that's actually being conducted through, uh, through the Grand Street Group. Uh, this time, um, and uh, yeah, we did a video before that was about some of the uh, the, this, the you know some of the improved properties like commercial properties and single family homes that were available. Uh, but you know there are redemptions that are occurring, and uh, so you know in the last uh, in the last week two weeks they've had uh, you know the pro it's gone from seven hundred and thirty to about six hundred and sixty six currently that are uh, that are still available. Yeah, and well, and like Shade said, last time we went over some of the homes, the commercial properties, different types of structures for sale. And in this one, we want to talk about some of the different types of land properties that look interesting. Yeah, in fact, um, you know, we can separate this, uh, this list, as you can see in court, uh, this top section right here, that it's separated according to uh, improved properties, unimproved, or timeshares. And so uh, in focusing on just the, uh, the unimproved properties, uh, to give you an idea, uh, uh, you know, just going through this list and, you know, there's a lot of kind of interesting properties. You know, I don't know. Some of them would be worth bidding on. Some of them, I'm not sure if they're usable or not. You know, it could be why they ended up in the tax sale in the first place. Uh, for some of them, it, if they are usable, they're, you know, they're fairly large chunks of land. Uh, you know, that are in different areas that are fairly desirable. Yeah, well, I mean, just even look at this one, we're looking at 134 acres. You can see that it's up there in the mountainy area. Now, what you can do with it, it probably has some type of use, but like Shade said, we don't know if you could build a home up there or not. You know, and it would probably depend on 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 roads and different aspects of it, but either way, you're still talking about a huge amount of property a hundred, you know, uh, with a value of, of 300 grand. Yeah. Now, what, what I also found um, in this list is you've got a lot of these properties, large properties, are near each other, you know, and so, uh, you know, in different areas, you know, so this was, uh, you know, not too far away. And here it's, again, 159 acres, uh, you know, of property there that, uh, that start out there at 98,000. Uh, but it's a pretty big chunk of property, it includes, the can you know, a couple canyons. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and I would imagine we could look a little more into it that the person, if these properties are next to each other, there's a good chance that they could be the same owner. Yeah. You know, where the owner, for whatever reason, passed on, whatever, is is not, has, at least for the last five years, no longer paid property taxes. So this isn't something that's just snuck up since the since the coronavirus. This has happened long before to take it to the point where it's come to this sale. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, here's another property here. Um, this one uh, starts out at thirty-eight thousand. Um, you know, has an estimated value. It says of a total assessed of two eighty-eight. They're saying there, it's about twelve point seven acres um, that, uh, that they're saying there. Um, but this one looked like it was pretty usable to me. Yeah, yeah. You can see there's you know road close by. Uh, looks pretty flat. Uh, you know, so overall, this would be a property you could look more into, see what the uses are, uh, you know, find some comparable properties that have sold within the area to, to kind of make sure that that assessed value is correct. And it may be worth 288, but it could be worth less than that, or it could be worth quite a bit more. Yeah. Well, one of the nice things on it was, um, you know, you can see here, um, you know, it had a sales history that was listed there, you know, that I just grabbed a shot on because it's one nice thing. We can see that 
uh, it was from 1989. Yeah. You know, but uh, the property sold for 175,000. You know, that was a long time ago yeah, that it sold for that's that. A good so sign. it's a good yeah, it's a good sign to show you know, that the property's value is is probably legitimate. Well, and you can see out in that area there's a bunch of homes that are kind of spread out. So you know, this would be a property where somebody could maybe easily buy that property and turn it into their homestead property. What'd you say it was around fifteen acres or so? Uh, yeah, it's Five twelve point seven. Twelve acres. <clears throat> so that still gives somebody plenty of room if they had things like horses or something like that. You know, small farm that they wanted to do it. That would give them the room and also the location. Yeah. Yeah. Here's another one. Uh, this one, uh, uh, twenty-one acres. You know, has listed here. Um, starting at seventy two thousand says it's valued total assessed on at six sixteen um, and uh, also this one had you know uh, had a sales record there from two thousand fourteen for five hundred and fifty yeah well you can also see that there's road access in fact it has Mesa Grande Road there within this uh, this would you know check to see is it like a uh, a cabin type property you know yeah. what type of what type of use does it have is it recreational use yeah, well, and it's it's mountainous area there, you know. Yeah, you and see, it's so, recreational right now. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, uh, you know, the usability of it. But some of the properties, um, you know, it seems like it's a little bit oh, more clear. Oh, you also clear. see it sold though. Oh yeah, 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 there. for five hundred and. Yeah, it sold for five hundred and fifty back in two thousand fourteen. So that means that really they bought this property. They paid the property to on taxes maybe a year, you know, maybe two years, and then quit paying. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, this property here uh, it starts out at twenty seven thousand, has a total assessed of two hundred and two thousand, um, but it is right there in kind of the middle of a commercial area, uh, and from what I could see, it's just never been developed. And I'm not sure that it's because it couldn't be, because it looks like it's just as usable as. The uh, right up above this is is the hotel, um, you know, is uh, uh, it's a hotel right there above it. But it looks like a very similar lot to the one you know that this was on. In other words, you know, it looks like it could be terraced out and and used if you know. Yeah. But then again, I don't know if it's usable or not. Yeah, well, it's showing a vacant here. You know, definitely look more into uh, the usability. But <clears throat> you're still looking at a property when we're talking about location. You know, this one here it looks to be in a great location, so we just check to see, you know, what what use, what is the potential use. Yeah, yeah, it begins about 5.6 acres on, um, on, uh, on this property. And we have, uh, on this one, you know, we have a property starting out at 17,000. This one could be a good building lot. It has the potential to be, I think, anyway. Um, you know, it is... Uh, located on this Crow's Nest Lane Road, and there are a couple of houses I noticed. You know, there's a, a house down here, you know, on the bottom. There's a house up here, and it, it's uh, it's a section there, about 15 acres. You well, know. you can see that the road there goes right to the right to the border of the property. Mm -hmm. So you know, you've got bigger homes up there that are being hit, homes that are being built within the area, and you've got road access right to the property. In fact, it looks like there's almost a dirt road kind yeah, of going yeah, through part is. of the property. Yeah, it's an interesting property. Um, you know, again, it's um, you know it's a mountainous area there, um, but that's where people have built you know some of their homes on some of these peaks and these areas. But it's a it's a good sized lot too. Well, and the, <clears throat> the San Diego area, you know, that area is definitely growing, going up in value. So starting at seventeen thousand for fifteen acres is definitely worth looking into. Yeah. So again, this is uh, the San Diego County tax sale that's happening uh, with Grand Street Group. Uh, on uh, they're going to be auctioned off from March twelfth to the seventeenth, and there's about six hundred and sixty-six currently, uh, but that number will be dropping, you know, as properties redeem. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, here we went over the uh, the land properties. If you want to check out the structured properties, go ahead and check out our other video. Uh, where we go through the San Diego structure. Yeah, we look at a few of the uh, a few of the improved properties that are on that list, and there's a lot of properties on that list. So, yeah, if you want more information like this, uh, you can join the Tax Cell Support Membership Program, uh, which is only thirty nine dollars uh, a month, and you can join it. You can cancel at any time. Uh, a great value, I think, if you're looking for uh, for both lists and training. Yeah, we definitely think it's it's one of the best values in in Tax Cell education.
Yeah. Thanks again for watching this video and be sure to uh, to hit that like button. Yep.